Hey, Ms. Zam here, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Endeavor. So, for today's episode, we're going to be finalizing uh, the Woot automation, and I'll be doing that from scratch. And I know we did a lot of things yesterday. Let's just say the purpose of the part one was to give you a gist, give you the gist or the idea of what we're trying to do. So, for today, we're going to be finalizing everything. We're going to put like a centralized thing uh, to make this work, and Yes, again, I'll be making use of XNet for that. So, I have everything, I believe. So, also, I upgraded our crafter tier 2 to 3 because I do have to put more recipes into this. And I believe this one is in here. Yes, and as you can see, we need this mystical gray petal thing. You know, we need to automate this as well because we can do that, basically. So, something like that. So, we have this, and then we have the plates, or rather the casings. And then we have the injection press, which makes those casings into plates, right? And uh, in order for you to make this thing work, because yesterday we put the crafter on top, right? And I did remember that you can make use of this crafter to uh, specifically work on, on which side of the machine you're trying to do. For example, I want the target side to be on the top. So we put let's put that one on up and save. Basically, that's it. So if you will try to craft that one, it will then import the the crafter will try to import the things onto the top part of this injection press, which makes then work. So uh, for the fluid vat, let's put first our ender tank. Cause uh, maybe later. Let's do that later. So let's put this one and. So, two fluid vats to be specific. This one is going to be making the purge thing, and then this one is for the conatus thing. And then we have our dye liquefiers, which so just put this one here, basically. And then we need a phytogenic insulator specifically. By the way, we are so fast now because I did get a trinket, which is this one right here. Movement speed plus plus. So, yeah, we're pretty fast now. Okay, uh, moving on. So sink, we need to put the sink here as well, and then let's just say that we need to auto input the water from the side, and then auto output that here so that we can craft the the gray dye basically. So let's put this one on auto output to the bottom, and then let's put the cyclic uh, augmentation or augment, and then let's start making some mystical gray flowers, which it needs power actually. So yeah. Let's connect everything with these connectors from XNet. Something like that. By the way, as you can see here, I also um, put a put up an item interface there because this is basically where we're going to be exporting everything back to our storage system. So yeah, it does work with just you know a simple item interface. So something like this. Then for the f for the fluid vat. And for the dialect refire, the the machine only accepts right on the top part. So what I want is an advanced red connector so that we can specifically import things on the top. Something like that. And then re red connectors and then this one right here. So power will be on the top and then XNet controller will be on the bottom. So let's just put this in output. So this Let's say, oh yeah, this is a, a used controller and I just didn't use it again because this was supposed to be the dissolution chamber. This control right here was supposed to control this, but then again, I found this, so that's why. So let me configure this back, you know, let's remove the channel. So this should be energy. We should be exporting from this dude right here. Great, this one right here. Extract and put that on the machines that accepts energy. Something like this. Something like that. Let's just put this one right here. Priority one, okay. So everything has power now, which is nice. And this one should be start should start making some some dyes, you know. Okay. So we need to first uh, put an item channel to 
extract the gray dye towards our dye liquifier. So let's do that. Let's say, let's see what we have. that is the one. So our first crafter should be extracting. Yes, I believe. And then let's let's put this on insert as well, but it should be blacklisting gray dye. So that everything else will go back to our storage system, except for the gray for the gray dye, because again we need to make use of it. Uh, the dye liquefier needs to make use of the gray thing. So, and then we should put that on the dye liquefier. Whitelist gray dye, nice. So if we have gray dye here, it should start importing that towards here. Okay, pretty neat. So what else is we need this water to import that to the top part of the fluid vat. That one right there. So this, so this should be importing some fluid. No, let's put this on top. There we go. Nice. Also, we need uh, some water to our phytogenic insulator. Right? Oh, no, we don't need that one anymore. Because it has an auto input right? Okay. So that's nice. Okay, so we have water and power now. So what we need to do is if we take a look at the recipes. Maybe let's just make use of ender pearl because it takes or it it creates four buckets of purge fluid. I think that's that's an okay solution to that one. I mean we don't have any experience charges yet because we haven't made the, the thing right. Or maybe we could make use of rotten flesh because since we have like tons of those rotten flesh. Rotten flesh. So maybe 32 for now. So let's start this. Uh, purge fluid going and yeah what's good about this wood machines it does it auto outputs so as you can see we have like purge fluid now and then we want this purge fluid to be to become a constant fluid so we need we need redstone for that one and we have a bunch of these redstone because our mining drill has been busy so we have our constant fluid now. nice so we want that contest fluid somewhere and we'll make use of that ender tank and you may be wondering how did I get this ender tank? Well, there's a couple of ways to make or to get blaze rods, right? And one of it is through this one right here, molten core. And remember, molten core can be or can be dropped by the blaze and the magma, magma cube. So since we have like a bunch of these magma cubes running around in our nether and that's how I got it. So yeah, we have this two ender tanks that are configured to cyan, cyan, cyan. So let's just put this one right here on the bottom and it should auto output that. Nice. So we now have Conatus fluid, which is great. Okay, so this is fully automated, I believe. Yes, I believe. So let's make the necessary stuff since we have this one already. We don't need this. Okay, so if we take a look at the wood, the wood guide, uh, in order for us to get the first tier, or I mean the second tier, the Theoricus, we need first to make the heart, right? The heart, primary base, cotton cell. So let's make these guys. So if you take a look at, I believe I have, um, I have set everything, or I've made a recipe for that. Let's see, why is it not configured? Did I do something wrong? Did I do something? ID 83. It should be connected, right? Let's see. Why is it not connected? Hmm. Let's see, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need to reset this. So I need to so do that, something like that. Um, I have no idea. 83, 89. Huh, our recipe's gone for some reason. 
Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I don't know what's going on. It says it's it says red. But this one is seem to be not connected. Oh there we go. Okay. Whew. Okay, so let's make the let's see how how many or what are the stuff that we have? We have twenty amber blocks, we have twelve amaranth block. So if we take a look at it again, we only need ten amaranth block block and seventeen amber blocks, so we need only 10 and then 17. There we go. So let's put this back onto the things. So what else? We need 11 factory connector. Okay, that's deep first. Okay, so we need 11 factory connectors. Okay, that's back. Okay, nice. That is nice. Factory connector. This one right here. We need 11 of you, so... There we go. That should start. Right? Right? Let's see. Why is it not importing? Oh, we forgot to auto output the stuff. Yeah, 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 I forgot. So this one should be. Let's say this is. Or not, let's let's make another one. So, oh wait, no, this should, this one should be an extract. And same goes to the injection press. Alright. There we go. So that should be everything. There we go. Hey, that's cool. So we should now have our... 11 factory. Nice. Pretty nice. So we need three secondary bases. So, secondary base. There we go. For some reason, we're... Recursive recipe detect. Oh, we need... We need first to make a blue die. Let's see. Blue. Die. Can we make this into... Ooh, we can. Nice. Okay, so let's put first a blue die. And then if we try to make three. Okay, for some reason. We need. Oh, we need light blue. There we go. So again. There it is. Neat. So that should be done any moment now. So we're still crafting the things. There we go. We all sh Okay, nice. So we have our oops, three secondary base. And we need four perk slots. I believe I have perk slots here. So we need four of you. So I need, yep. That's nice. You know what? Let's put this on. Let's put this on stack mode. There we go. Okay, that's nice. So perk, we have four perk slots. That's nice. We need fourth Eureka's cup. Did I? Did I make that one? I think I did. Yep, that's that's a big yes. Nice, 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 nice. So we need a heart, and we don't have any head of some sort just yet. We only have one, which is from the Enderman. So, how do I do? How do I want to do this? Maybe let's make use of this villagers that we have. So let's make either a a project or not project like either Vorpal or beheading. 
right? So Warpal, we do have Warpal, right? That's nice. And then we also have Beheading, I believe. Yes, that is also a yes. So either way, if we get Warpal, then we'll get it. If we have, we get Beheading, we'll also get that one. So yeah, let's let's do this process. So what I want or what what I usually do is I just make use of this cardboard box to reset the the trade of this boy right here. So if I, for example, do this, as you can see, it doesn't have any profession now. But if I do this, it will then reset its trading or its trades, which is nice. So I can just do that, you know, and yeah, just go by my day. This is this is faster because you don't have to break the thing channeling yeah so I'll I'll be back in a second if I get to be lucky you know so see you in a bit oh you know what I realized something I don't have any emeralds of some sort yeah so um, let's let's go to let's see can I go back yeah okay so we need to we need to get some emeralds first. We have seven at the moment. I mean that's cool and all. So how many stuff do we have? Okay. So we have plenty of redstone. We have plenty of coal. Man, this boy has been super busy lately, you know. I need my seven emeralds. Um probably that's it for for now. Yeah, so, I mean, this is not even the biggest I could could make, you know. <laughs> I just have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, times 4, that's 12, plus 3, 15, 18. I only have 18 laser drills, yet it's, it's keeping up with the demands, you know, which is nice, which is pretty nice. But yeah, we're not getting any power, uh, you, those uraninite ore things, so we're not getting those, which is not nice. But yeah, in terms of basic resources, this this thing is pretty handy. So I like it. I like it. I like it. So let's go home and process these ores that we just got. And put this one here. Yeet. Nice. So we should have the emerald dust. Nice. Then we need to process this in our enrichment chamber, which, yeah, I've been processing a lot of ores lately. There we go, so, wait, why is the coal coming? No, wait, 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 no, stop! Oi! Oi! Dang it. The coal should be back here. You know what, let's put this on priority 1 instead. So this one should be just 0. Okay, so if I put back the coal. Okay, nice. So let's process these diamonds, or emeralds rather. I think that's not going to be enough. But we'll see, we'll see. So yeah, I'll be back once I get to beheading. Okay, we got mending instead. I mean, <laughs> well, it's not that I'm complaining. God, I don't have any papers. Whatsoever. Oh, I wasted my papers again. No. You better stay as mending. Okay, so we got mending instead. I mean, I mean, I'll take that. Do we have indestructible in this thing? That's that's enough. Okay, but yeah, mending. That's that's cool. That is cool. So probably let's just use this boyo that we have right here. And I don't have any emeralds whatsoever, so probably I'll go mine and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I only managed to get seven emerald ores, and I mean, I think that's okay. Why did... Why did... 
the redstone were not processed. Oh, because I forgot to put this one in here. Okay. Makes sense. So we have 17 for now. I do hope that's enough. So yeah, let's make this boyo either Whirlpool or a beheading trader. Let's close this. So yeah, back to swapping some trades. Finally! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go! Ah, after how many minutes you finally give it to me? And it's beheading three! Hooray! Let's go, and it's super cheap. Oh god. Ooh, I'm almost uh, 40 minutes into the recording. Gee. But hey, uh, so in terms of sword, probably let's put this on. Let's put this on a regular sword just for now. I mean, we have unlimited amounts of beheading three, so. That's not going to be the case, so probably let's just make a diamond. No, no, no diamond's too expensive. Let's just say it's a sword. How many. What are the swords that we have? Um. Is it right? I mean, yeah, that's, that's cool. Bronze, wow. Bronze has an attack of 10. I mean, 10. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, bronze it is. Bronze is the way. Bronze, I do believe I have a bit of bronze here. I do. I do have. That's cool. So let's put it on the bronze. That's probably let's put the mending and the beheading as well. Oh, finally, God. So, there we go. I've got tons of redstone. Yeet. Oh, bronze. There we go. So let's put this one right here. Alrighty. So let's throw this away. And then yeah, we'll just have to wait for the night to fall and then let's it's it's mob clobbering time. Okay, so what else do we need from the wood? We have these four now. Wait, I don't have my Theoricus. So let's get that one. There we go. Uh we need the heart, right? We need We need a one primary base. Do I have one primary base? Prime base. I don't have a recipe for that one, so let's make a recipe for that one real quick. Let's see, integrate dynamics, there we go. Recipe base first, this one right here. So that's pink and magenta, we do have that one. Okay, and then what else? We need a condensate cell, which I guess we have that one. Ingredient porter. We only have we only, we only need one of this. Oh, now that I think about it, I think. Yeah, let's just make a primary base recipe because this one is hassle to get. So let's see, loot exporter, loot export. That's that's pretty basic. What else? Ingredient importer, ingredient importer. Ingredient. Oh, did I spell it wrong? Ingredient importer, that's pretty basic actually. So let's make two. That's two of this. Then let's also make two. Where was it? This one right here. Okay, so it's clobbering time. Uh, hey, skelly boys. Give me your heads. Ouch. Ouch. I did get... got three. I did get three. Oh god. There is a scaly boy over here. Okay, we got four now. Nice. Woohoo! 
So if we take a look at heart. I mean we need one machine casing for that one, but we do have one uh one. So let's get rid of this. Okay. So let's put do I have extra space for that one? I do. So one primary base. Base. I need one of this. I don't have a pink, so let's make a pink. Uh, pink, pink, pink. Pink, I think it's pink is red and white. Yes. Here we go. Primary base. Craft. So, we have the heart now. What we need next is the primary base and one con to sell. Con at to sell. Did I? Nope, I did not. There we go. One con at to shell. We need. The primary base. Yeah, we just need the loot importer and the loot exporter. So I need two more of this. Uh, we're missing chest. Chest. Wow, of all things. Log. Here we go. So two of you. Okay, so I need importer, there we go, and I need my exporter, which I guess it's this one. What else? I do need the other one, which is the loot exporter. Oh, I do have that one. I think I have everything. Okay. So probably by the next episode, since we don't have enough time to to build this, let's just say this is part two, and then for the next episode, we'll be building the whole mob controller and probably go deeper with industrial for going. Because again, I do want to get the, what you call this, the mob duplicator, right? So yes, guys, that's it for today's episode. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. As always, if you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more contents like this. As always, have a nice day. Peace. We will win. This time we'll have to join forces.